Yo, what's up you guys? Brewski here. Today's video is going to be going over the updated infusion system in Destiny 2 after patch 2.0, which is the pre-patch for Destiny 2's first big expansion, Forsaken. So we're gonna, this video is gonna be going over the old infusion system in Destiny 2, just in case any of y'all are new players, you don't really know what infusion is. So we're going to be reviewing the old system, going through what infusion actually is, and uh, like what the process looks like. And then we're going to be reviewing the new system that they've implemented. So first things first, uh, we're going to talk about what infusion is. Infusion is the process of absorbing and putting one piece of gear into another piece that you want to improve. So let's go ahead and look at the character menu here. So we have our weapons on the left side with our ghost shell, and then we have our armor on the right. So pretty much ways to upgrade gear in this game is say you have two pairs of boots. So you look off the power level. So this one has th a 385 level, and this one has a 402 level. So say I really like the way these boots look. All right, they do look pretty good, but they're a lower level than my four than the 402 boots were. So what you're going to do, you're going to right click if you're on PC and come over here to the infuse section and you're going to drop down and you will actually be able to kind of have these boots absorb this pair of boots to raise the power level. So if you see, it'll have, it has your, uh, some requirements to do it. It's not free. So it'll take 2,500 glimmer, 10 legendary shards and 10 datalatice. Now this is actually something new, it actually requires planetary resources. And how you get planetary resources, you go on over to your inventory. And this is an example of a planetary resource. Each planet has a unique resource that you get from looting lost sectors, to doing public events, to opening chests, and finding the actual resources just around the planet. So simulation seeds are for mercury, phase glass needles are for Io. Microfastic Datalatice is from Nessus. Dusklight Shards are from the EDZ, or Earth. Alkane Dust is from Titan. And last but not least, Seraphite is from Mars. So all these are going to be very important. I've been farming up just a little bit a day. Because these are going to be used for not only infusing your gear, but also infusing your weapons. All right, next we're going to be looking at what was probably the biggest change when it comes to infusion, which is the way to infuse weapons. So originally in Destiny 2, it was, say you had a hand cannon and you wanted to raise the power of this hand cannon, you had to infuse, you could only infuse it with other hand cannons. It didn't matter if it was in the primary or the energy slot or the kinetic or the energy slot. The way it works now, say I have this autumn wind is 377. If I want to infuse it up, it's based slowly, solely off the guns in the primary slot. So it doesn't matter what kind of ammo they take. So for instance, if I wanted to infuse, I could infuse this sniper rifle into this pulse rifle. Even though it takes a different kind of ammo, it's still in the primary slot. So infusion now for weapons is, slow, is solely off the slot the guns are in. Another example would be take Suros which is an auto rifle, but it's in the primary slot, so I can actually infuse that antiope into it. I'm not going to actually do it because I want to keep that. Actually, let me go see if I have a, a weapon I can use. Okay, so I have two I have two Balagants, so I'll take one of those out. Okay, so it's in the primary slot. I'm going to go ahead and open up Suros. Okay, so it's in the primary. It's a primary shotgun. takes special ammo, but since it's in that primary slot, I can go ahead and infuse it into Suros and raise it up to 377. So that's pretty much what the process of infusion is. It's uh, it's pretty much, if you have a weapon you like and you get another weapon that you don't really like but the power level is higher, you can go ahead and infuse it into the piece of gear you do like and raise the power level up. So like I said guys, just to recap, now um, now it's going, it's going off your weapon slots. It's not going off the weapon type. So it was, originally it was, if you had a scout rifle, you could only infuse it with scout rifles. It didn't matter if it was a primary or, an, or if it didn't matter if it was a kinetic or an energy. Now it's changed up to solely off the slot. 
So if I can infuse my Midnight Coup, say, into this perfect paradox, if the levels were meeting up, or I could infuse the Sniper into this Pulse Rifle, as long as they are in the same slot. So all these weapons can infuse into one another, all of these can infuse into one another, and these can infuse into one another, so on and so forth. So I hope you guys found the video helpful. It, it, it can be a little confusing, but I tried to, you know, I tried to break it down as best as I could. So if you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to drop them down in the comments. I, I'm really good about responding to questions, so uh, please don't be afraid to ask. If you did find the video helpful, thumbs up would be appreciated, and so would uh, a subscription from you. That'd be, that'd mean a lot to me. I'm going to be dropping a lot of new videos once Forsaken comes out in the next couple days here. So if you guys want to tune into more Destiny 2 content, subscribe and a thumbs up would be very appreciated. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.